all right guys so this is part two on how to replace the bells on the um, uh, vintage uh, boombox the um, uh, pioneer sk-575 i think and um, it took me a, a while to do this uh this uh part two of the um of the series because uh <clears throat> I had a problem with one with one of the uh, with one of the uh, gears. I don't know if you can see. Is uh, is this one right here, the white one? So the original one uh, broke off and um, it it got split pretty much like in two. So I guess uh, it's because uh, it was pretty old. Is this one right here? As you can see, I tried to put it together when I couldn't. I mean, I did, but once I put it back in, it didn't. It broke off again. So what I did is um, I got some um, some. Um, Uh, smooth on um, mold it's this one right here to make my own uh, my own gears uh, and I also got the resin. A pretty good brand, and uh, so I ended up and, and I ended up with this uh, with this malt right here. <sighs> so uh, <clears throat> when I did my uh, my my gear, when I made my gear, it came out like this, something like this, and like this. So as you can see, it's not as big as, as the original one. So what I did is I, I sanded down one of these ones, with one of the new ones, the white ones. I sanded it down and um, I put pretty much two of them together. Like this. kind of like a sandwich and I put uh, two uh, uh, mini sunglasses screws on each one of the sides so I, I glue it down and I put the mini uh, mini screws in there too for a better um, uh, for it to be stronger and so far it's working pretty good but the thing was that uh, I had another problem the um the uh, belt the flat belt it was kind of type of like a skinny belt so i needed one uh wide enough to uh to embrace the um the uh the pulley right here on the motor otherwise it was just gonna it was just gonna slip out <coughs> So what I did is I got me these other belts. The original one, the the, the, the one I first tried on was um, FRW 9.6. And I think this this one's gonna work better. Is the FRX 9.7 flat belt. You can find it on eBay from different sellers, I think. And I'm gonna try that one. Hopefully it's gonna work better because the other one was a little bit tight. So as you can see, um, it looks like it's really, really hard to replace the belts on this one, but it's actually pretty easy. It's just four, um, 
four uh, screws right here. There's one right here. There's one right here. And there's two on the bottom. This, this one and this one. So we're gonna remove those. When you do this, uh, make sure the the boom box is um, is not uh, hooked up to the um, power outlet. These uh, screws are pretty much the same size. So in order for me to do it fast, I just pretty much flip it and I don't have to disconnect anything else. Just flip it like this. And there's uh, three more right here. One, two, three. for this uh, circuit board. Just remember to take a lot of pictures of what you're doing or <clears throat> just take pictures in general just in case uh, uh, one of the cables uh, disconnects or accidentally disconnects or something else you know where it goes so you just be careful and then you just flip it like this oh you have to disconnect this one there you go and then uh there's three more right here one, two, and three. But on this one, you're gonna uh, need a smaller uh, Phillips screw, like this one. And this is for the plate right here. <coughs> Just be careful when you pull it out because there's like a, a tiny little um, spring right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it out like this. And then you're gonna get the, the spring loose like this. See right here. All right, so this one, the one on top, is a little bit just a tiny bit larger than this one, but I, I was having problems with this one too. So I think I'm gonna need to maybe get another one, a little, just a little bit tighter. This one in the middle 
it works fine. I think that flat bell is the original one or maybe one I tried and it's a little bit loose I forgot so this is the uh, FRX 9.7 as you can see it's a little bit wider this one right here so we're gonna try that one and it's a tiny bit uh, uh, tighter, so we're gonna try that one. All right, so first, first you're gonna install the uh, the flat bell. gonna be the small one right here Don't worry if it gets a little bit twisted. It's gonna get straight by itself. <clears throat> and then like I said, this one's a little bit loose. But I'm gonna try it with this one. Otherwise, if it doesn't work the way it's supposed to, just try one a little bit tighter. otherwise it will take me forever to make a, to get another one because I need to find the, the right one the right so it will take me forever this video could end up being like I don't know 20 minutes <laughs> uh, so you just pretty much just put everything back together well, let me show you how they go having a hard time filming this and taking care of the um the spring Just make sure everything snaps into place and nothing is loose. And then 
just pretty much put everything back together the way it was of course you're, you're just gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna clean with a cotton all these uh these pulleys right here with alcohol sorry i didn't show you uh, that but i already did it all the path all the path for the belts and you gotta grease uh underneath this just so the pulley uh uh, runs freely and maybe you got time clean the uh, the contacts the switches right here with uh, alcohol and a, and a skinny uh, cut, cotton swab just pretty much uh, keeping everything clean you know from dust or grease that is not supposed to be where it's not supposed to be Make sure it's just the right, right amount of tight. There you go. And then it's gonna be this one back into place. Remember to hook this one up right here. sorry this video is taking too long but I just want to make this uh, in real time so it's, it's easier for you if you have this boom box to, uh, to replace the belts there you go it's all set and you turn it around like this right here I forgot to mention when you uh, put this back 
just make sure that um, the uh, recording uh, switch is supposed to be it was supposed to be so I'll get this loosened a little bit and show you it's right here So now I'm gonna see the moment of truth. Hook it up to the mains. Yeah, as you can see. It's gonna need it's gonna need a a tighter like I said it's gonna need a tighter uh square belt right here because I have to help it. But as you can see pretty much it's working. You can fast forward, you can rewind. And as you can see, the uh, the uh, uh, the gear I made is working fine. And as you can see, the uh, the other flat belt is working fine too. So it's just that one belt that it doesn't engage when I want to play it. Okay, this one right here. And that's pretty much it. I think you're gonna make, make a third video, part three, and how to put everything back together. I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of that belt first, and then I'm gonna show you how to put it back together. And then you're good. You can also, you can also uh, uh, search for the songs on this button right here. So it's gonna search for the song. It's gonna stop, and then it's gonna play it back.
Yeah, I guess that one makes a stronger bell too. Yeah, I'm gonna replace those two uh, square belts. But the other one, the flat uh, one, is working fine. As you can see. speed and everything is working fine all right so th that's it for part number two of the uh, of this uh, series on how to how to replace the belts on the uh, uh, vintage pioneer sk-575 boombox thanks for watching